Places. They haven't the foggiest idea how to run things. You're all right, mate. Quite right, mate. Look at him, for instance. There's brains for you. <laughs> Birds of a feather. <laughs> now then, slip along there, Bolton. Hi, hi, sir. Look at me a bit. Ten, Ten oh, twelve. Yeah. Two to battle here. Got that, Fred? Yes, sir. Wait with them. That's it. Shot, oh, Riley. Yes, Dad. 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 Have they? Uh, like their blinking sauce, tiddlers. The same old words of love will whisper still while there's a rose left to bloom in you. Fish it, Mum. There we are. Fish and chips. Oh. Fish. <laughs> Thanks, girl. All right. Just for it, and mother makes it. As you like to make them, you mean. Also, gone. Yeah, thank you. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. I'll be able to meet you. Clear escape, please, Mrs. Bolton. Clear escape, it is, Johnny. And Mum says, wrap me up in a good love story. Love story with skate? What next? <laughs> you want to get ever the best fish. Anyway, let's see what we've got here. Ah, sex starvation from health and strength. Now, what more does she want, eh? <laughs> There's a nice piece for you, Brookens. That's right, Johnny. That's yep. right. Ta-da. Hello. There's a good boy. Hello, Johnny. Hello, yourself. You don't you play for dinner, Fred? All right, Ma. I'm only going to... Oh, I know uh... what you're only going to do. You and your blessed motorbike. <laughs> a good old pal to us anyway. Yes, I know. But I wish I had a proper outfit. I'd show the dirt track crowd what I can do. Ma or no ma. It's a pity she's so much against it. But I think I understand. Wish I did, Maudie. It's so risky. And you know what mothers are. Stolten, if you won't. Well, what is it this time, Mrs. Wigglesworth? They're shooting in the market. Shooting? Shooting who? That's what they call Titan pictures. You ought to see him, Mrs. Bolton, and he's an Italian film director, or whatever he's called. Well? He's jumping about like a flea on a gridiron. Quanto mai son venuto in questo paese a produrre della cinematografia? Oh, what a country! Here I make a picture of your fish market, and you have no lobster foot. I told Jim about it yesterday, sir. Oh, you English always have the answer pat, like that. I see to it myself. Wilson, my act, quick. Dio mio, per carità. Ah, per fatto. Where is he? He wants it. No, 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 no. It is not the lobster that I want, but his pot. Bring me his pot. Oh, the bean. The lobster. Yes. 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 What? Not him in a bedroom? No, his face fatted. Stuck all over the wall. Oh, Harold. At last I shall see you in the flesh. I must take you away from here. It isn't right. It isn't fair. 
your charm is lost in a place like this. Don't you see? You don't belong here. You're wasting your life. Yes, yes, but what can I do? I'll show you what to do. Darling. Oh, go on, kiss her. Go on. Kiss her. Oh, yes. You see, they laugh. They laugh. Why do they laugh? Because you make the love and you have no passion. I'll tell you what's wrong with him. They don't know how to run things. It is no good. I ask for love, I don't get love. I ask for a kiss, I don't get a kiss. Why don't I get a kiss? Where's Wilson? Yes, sir. Don't go away. I want you to give a nice kiss. Oh, yeah. So, come on, come on, show me. No, no, not so. Now, you give me an office, a desk, and a pair of spats, and I'll show them. That's right, mate. Now then, slip along there, Bolton. Come on. Oh, I said. The Ola Malandica, what have we now? A thunderstorm? Quick sound. Sound. Sound, you hear me? His master's voice. And now we take the scene in the fish market. Bring the other microphone stand. Make it snappy. Oh, he gives me a pain in the neck. Cut him off. Oh, much longer, Dor. Let's go. Sound truck. That's what that is. That's right. Sort of horse truck. Horse truck, big foot. Sound truck. What puts the talk in the talkies? Oh. Hey, leave that where it is. It's Big Bertha he wants. Come and give us a hand. That microphone's already connected off for the next scene. Come on. It's from a box of tricks, ain't it? Quite simple when you know how. Blimey. You know everything. Well, I've read about most things. A lot of good reading rep round fish. <laughs> Here, let's have a deco. Yeah, film. What that is? What did I tell you? Quite simple. Yeah. All you got to do: twiddle a few knobs. I want a nice bit of attic. Attic it is. How are the children? Oh, not so bad, you know. Except in little Johnny, he's always ailing. Oh, you want to give him more vitamins? Well, what's that? Stuff what's in attic. Give <laughs> <laughs> the wish. Though faint is cruel it seems, all of our schemes in vain. Castles we built in Spain, only to fall. Though bad luck take what it may, stealing away the rest, we'll have the thing that's best of all. Can't you see you don't belong here? That you're wasting your life? Yes, yes, but what can I do? 
I'll show you what to do. Darling. Thing 55, take four. Hmm. Well, I don't think much of this stuff you shot yesterday, Baldy. I know, I know. It is like the louse. But wait, we have now the big scene. Oh, but you're not so. Mm, that's good news. Let's have it. Right, sir. Let me go. Now, you see, they make the love so soft and low. Oh, Italiano. Scene 56, take three. I'll give you the world. There's only one thing I want. Darling, what is it? I want a nice bit of Eddie. Eddie, it is. I ask her to make love and they talk of fish. What's the matter there? Yeah, no, we seem to have got some extra sound. Doesn't fit the picture. Stuff what's in Eddie. I cut it off, though. Yes, cut her off. It is waste of time. No, oh, wait a minute. This is worth listening to. The same old words of love. Still, while there's a rose left to bloom in June, two lips to meet neat the same old moon. Well, I don't know how it happened, but it's good. Good. She make a song like the bird in the tree. Tweet, tweet, yes, tweet, tweet. yes. Well, we must find her. She's great. Yes, but how do we find this angel? Mm. Here's an idea, Chief. Great publicity. Offer a reward for finding the singer. Make a record of the song. Broadcast it from Radio Paris. Allo, allo. Ici Radio Paris. Le numéro suivant est un item de surprise. Vous allez entendre dans leur film fan qui vous est offert par la Société des films Phoenix de Londres. Une cantatrice inconnue dont on cherche l'identité mystérieuse. Hello, British listeners. You're listening to the film fans are, which is sent to you from Radio Paris with the compliments of the Phoenix Studios. We're now going to broadcast a surprise item of unusual interest. The Phoenix Studios have accidentally recorded a song. We shall now give you this song, and if any of you think you know the singer, and will reveal her identity to the Phoenix Studios, you will receive a reward of ten pounds. Here is the song. While there are above, Listen! did you read her? Blimey! It's more! Singer, and don't forget the ten pounds reward. <laughs> Hello. Oh, 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 oh. I want Grange double O three two five. Hey, that's mine! Good blind O'Reilly! 
Mrs. Bolton, uh, have you got the address? Good. Phoenix Union? Yes, uh, Mrs. Bolton. Yes, I know. Phoenix Studios. Phoenix Studios. I know Mrs. Bolton. Ah, the, the singer, the singer with the angel voice. We find, we find. Her name is Miss Mrs. Bolton. Oh, but yes, now, I must see her at once, quick, tomorrow. Then, you see, I make of her the shining star. I'm sorry, Mr. Giddyboli, but I don't hold with pictures. You, you don't want to make money? More money in one small week than you make here in five years? We're doing very nicely, thank you. Good day. Oh, oh, what a woman, what a woman. The very spirit of this great country, uh, Britannia. <laughs> Oh, but tell me, oh, how can I get her in my picture? You leave it to me, old cock. I know how to run things. Just yes, oh. fruit salt. Good old oh, boy! Oh, 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 oh. All right, here. Yeah, I'll get out of the way. Out of the way. I, I, I'm glad you are so clever. You see with me the eye to the eye. Thank you. You, uh, you make her sign the contract. Yes, no? Oh, for Coughlin it. Huh. Anything for me in this? On the business end? Yes, no? Oh, of course, it can be arranged. Anything can be arranged. Uh, here, how you like a, a nice big office and uh, pretty girls, eh? <laughs> okay, baldy boy. Then it, then it, then it. Oh, uh, for a good boy. Thanks, old cock. Come, we go. <laughs> so long, baldy old boy. So long, good day. <laughs> I got an office now, and a secretary. That's what I got. What are you going to do with her? That's my business. Blimey, we're now got a great future before you now, mate. Here you are. On the earth. Come over here. Here, there. Here. 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 <clears throat> well, then? What's happened, Dad? Come on, cough it up. Oh, I'm always dead, Dad. Oh, you would be. So are you, you know you are yourself. Says you. Well, it took some getting, but I got it. How, How much, much, Dad? Um, oh, uh, a few hundred a week. Blimey. Oh. Yeah, not bad for a beginning. I can have a real bike now. Dirt track model. Yes, we can move to a real posh neighborhood. Park Lane, eh, Dad? Next door to our old Ogarth, I'll bet. Oh, you such a gob. Yeah. And I'll be able to show them studio people how to run things. Have you all finished? Hey? No, we've only just begun. Oh. Well, perhaps you'll let me get a word in. Well, what's up, Miss? You all seem to take it for granted that I'm going to sign this blooming form. Well, of well, course, course you are. Oh? Yes. Am I? Well, think what it'll mean for... Well, for the kids. Kids. Look, it's all a chance to do something. Instead of mucking about with fish. Fish? What's the matter with fish? Well, fish is all in this place, but... Oh, shut up. Well, you don't want to spend your whole blinking life with an addict, do you? You give me the sick. <coughs> Good blind old Riley. That old stove smoking again, Mrs. Bolton. Oh, just have a sock in it for now. Well, I'll see if I can find one. The bottom drawer in the bedroom. Oh, yes. Of course. Oh, socks and stoves. Oh, Mum, why can't we bulge out a bit? Oh, come on, Bess. Have an art. Yes, come on, Ma. Anybody think we're coming to a fortune? We oh, yeah. have. Yeah. All right. Have it your own way. Good old Ma. Oh, what me? Good old Bess. I knew you'd stick by the old firm. You're all balmy. So am I. All right, have it your own way and see where it lands us. Well, I know where it's going to land me. Well, 
Well, my dear, are you satisfied with your part in the picture? Satisfied? <laughs> They've cut half of it. Have they? Hmm. Oh, too bad. I shall have to speak to the director about it. As if speaking about it will make any difference. Ah, oh, and that depends who speaks. <coughs> Hello, hello, yes, what is it, eh? Who is that? Oh, is that you, Baldy, old boy? This is Bert speaking. Bert? Oh, Bolton. Oh, the man of the fish and the chips. Oh, cretino. Salami. Imbit. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's very comical. <laughs> well, that'll be all right then, will it, Baldy boy? Oh, go to well. Righto, boy. That's all right, my dear. Oh, you are a duck, Bert. <laughs> well, you ain't so bad yourself, Fluff. Hello, hello, there we go again. That'll be Geneva calling, I expect. Hello. Yes? This is Mr. Bolton of the Phoenix Studio speaking. Ah, is that you, Bert? Oh, yeah. How are you, me old beauty? Oh, oh is that you, Harry? How are you, cock? Now, listen, it's about this horse. He's an absolute gift at 50 quid. I had four ponies about him once and he skated him. Straight up. Stand on me. Yes, and when he's seen it run, he'll jump on you. No, kid. All right. I'll see you about that this evening. I can't talk about it now. I've, um... I've a bit of business on end. Yeah. Very tasty. <laughs> bit of all right, eh? If that bit of horse flesh don't get your money back inside a month, you can tread on my face. Might improve it. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a name. I'll have a brandy. Guinness. 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 Guinness for the old blinking lot. Well, I must be getting back to the studio. My old girl's first rehearsal. <coughs> and I got to look after her. Look. So long, Bert. Don't forget to throw your weight about. You bet. They don't know how to run things at the studio. Uh, how's things going? They're not going that way. Hey! Yeah. Oh, they can't look me out going yeah, that yeah, That's not the way to talk to me. Don't lose yourself. Yeah, well, you better be careful, my man. Here, boy. Yes, sir. Where's Mrs. Bolton? Over there, sir. Rehearsing with the director. Your well, how are you getting on, my dear? That's just it. I'm getting on while you're getting on. Oh, no, 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 Bert, no, Bert. Be a good boy and leave us. we we'll make the rehearsal. Right, old baldy boy. And now, my pet, you sell flowers in the playground of the world. Kick a TV. Dio Santo. Look at me. A group of elephants. Ah, me. Stop, stop. It is terrible. You are meant to be like the angel. Pretty. Lily in Piccadilly. She has what you call a uh, take the wrong turning. <laughs> That's a bit awkward, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, you plead for her uh, to hear us, the god of love, with all your heart. Make it come from here. Help! Who is that? Help! Disgusting. Imbecile! 
I come, we try again. I'm sorry to be so much trouble, I'm sure. Trouble, trouble, what is trouble? I live with her. And I shan't be any good, you know. Oh, but yes, you make the start. Come, do the position. We make the rehearsal. Silence! Wilson! Silence you! Too proud to eat a little homely food on occasions. Allow me, sir. Oh, don't keep missing the pet with him lights. Here, Westerbrook, tell him to get uh, half a dozen case, some potatoes, tell cook to wash them, and, I, and I'll do the rest. See? Very good, ma'am. I say, you know, you've hurt his feelings. <laughs> Hello. That'll be the studio, I expect, for you. Well, of all the blooming things. <laughs> Pity about them if they expect me down there tonight. Hello? What? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Giddybordy, but I'm not having my photo took, uh, taken anymore today. Ah, thank you. <clears throat> they can put that in his close-up and fade out. <laughs> Just like old times. Bring in the fish when he comes up. See who it is, Bert, will you? Hello? Is that you, Dad? Oh. Oh, you? Yes? Oh, well, it's just to say I can't get home for dinner. No. Now, Gwen's terribly ill and I've got to look after her. See? Goodbye. Darling, for once you are right. I am ill. I've seen Red five times running and the answer was blank. Could you be a darling and do something about it? My dear, would that be enough? Oh, my dear, you are a dear. Oh, don't mind. Studio again? No. Pearl. Not coming home to supper. Oh, such a nice bit of fish, too. Here, ain't you off? Yeah. Looking after some girlfriend, what's ill? Oh, well, I suppose it can't be helped. Bring them chips. Bone. Hello. That you, Ma? I shan't be home till late. No, sorry, Ma, I must stay. They've got their eye on me for the novices race. No, I'll be all right. Cheerio, Ma. Don't like it. Now, Fred can't come. And look at all this fish. Never mind. All the more for us. Phone again. Well, you answer it. You get heart disease, won't you? Running about so much. God, blind old Riley. Hello. Oh, Jewelry. 
Oh, I don't see how I can. Oh, come on, the old college jump. Archie's throwing a party. <laughs> We're all here in conference, you know. <laughs> You're a good judge of figures, aren't you? Well, come and look them over. Confidence, eh? What's that? Five percent differential slipping? Consul's falling? Can't do without me, I suppose. No, I thought not. Right hope. I'll be along right away. Dear, dear, dear. Now, ain't that just my luck? Just that I was going to have a nice, quiet evening at home. Well, I... what's happened? Consuls have fallen. Going to pick them up again, I suppose. Anyway, you can't wear specs in evening dress. Who says I can't? You have to get yourself up as a poultry rabbit to go to a conference. So long, old girl. Mummy, what's come over you? Just a spasm. The affair that night. Oh, my dear, it's divine. A girl gets into his flat while he's out. When he comes in... Dear. My dear. What happens? Oh, my dear. Can't you guess? My dear, I can. Of course, I've seen all your pictures. Really? Yes, but I've always wondered how you spend your very own private life. Really? How do you spend your time when you're not filming? Oh, a spot of golf. Oh, golf. I love golf. But I can never get the balls to go through the uh, hoops. I suppose you have lots of girlfriends? No, only Tilda. Tilda? Yes, she goes everywhere with me. Oh. You see, she happens to be my dog. Oh, lucky dog. And, um, I suppose you take her out every night about, um, about ten? No, nine as a rule. Uh, there's some friends of mine over there. Will you excuse oh, me? Oh, that's quite all right, Mr. Hogarth. Uh, <laughs> Here, I know better one than that. Here. She was only a turncock's daughter. It's got whiskers but... on it. Oh. Well, how about it? How about it? No more poker for me. I'm broke. So am I. Me too. Well, if you haven't got any money, how about a game of strip? What strip? Strip poker. You play for your clothes instead of money. Oh. <laughs> what, cash down? That's the idea. That'll suit me. Come on, my girl. Want anything? Mrs. Barton? Well, I never. Whatever are you doing here? Oh, I just had to come. Have a look round, you know. How are things going? That old stove still smokes. I must have it seen you. Well, I never seem to have any time to myself these days. But I thought you could do anything you liked. Mm, well, pictures aren't all they cracked up to be, I can tell you. Can't call you soul your own. Or your family either, for that matter. But I thought the family was doing wonderful. Yes, well, I don't like the habits they're getting into. Take it out of that. 
Now then, Dot, end over that other, um... Here you are. Promotion. <laughs> that makes me a corporal. <laughs> <laughs> the way you're going on, you look like finishing up a blinking general. I don't know what'll happen if my picture's a flop. Flop? Your picture can't be a flop. Oh, can't it? You don't know how I feel sometimes. Flat. Just like a bottle of stout that's been poured out all night. You ain't weakening, are you? You mustn't do that. Think what you're doing for your family and all. Yes, I'm just beginning to think. No, fetch me. Hello, yes. I can't do it together. Let me go, Mrs. Bowden. There's a bit to get now. Is that right you're singing, isn't it? Good. What about the song, Miss? One of your old funny ones. I to be amongst old friends again anyway. Come on. <laughs> Come on, boys. It's a chance to do something big. Play for royalty this time. Oh, a real band, boys. Doing fine, eh? <laughs> well, come on, it's start. Off we go, boys. Come on, off we go. Ebenezer Brown, up in Camden Town, stands outside his fish shop with a frown. All the passers-by keep on asking why. He replies, there's one thing gets me down, and that is how does a fresh fish wish if a fish hasn't got a wishbone? When it's lying there in the dish, longing to wish, who wants a fish? Now, what does a fresh fish do when he's filled with a big ambition? Constantly lie there and eat with unfulfilled desire. Kippers have no wishbone, so can't get what they require. So please, will you tell me this? How old does a fresh fish wish? Oh, Professor Binks, digging near the Sphinx, found some writing from the days of yore. He said, this is mine, fame will soon be mine. But when he translated it, he saw this question. How does a fresh fish wish? If a fish hasn't got a wishbone, when it's lying there in the dish, longing to wish, oh, what a fish. Now, what does a fresh fish do when he's filled with a big ambition? Mr. Trout is walking out with Herring's daughter, Rose. Though he wants to marry her, Poppy, she can't propose. Oh. <laughs> How can he get undressed? I'm so tired, I must get home now. I've had a hard day, you know what I mean, boys. Just keep on, just keep on keeping on, my dear. That's all any of us can do. Look how you cheered us all up tonight. I never looked at it like that before. You're right. I will keep on keeping on. That's better. Yeah. I hope your husband is doing nicely. Bert? Oh, ho, you want to see him now. If this goes on much longer, I shall have to become a blinking Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll tell you what I'll do, Bert. I'll cut you for your spats. No blinking fear. Whatever happens, you don't get them. <laughs> 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 Boats, if you me. Oh, it's nothing, sir. This won't keep me out of the big race, will it? That depends on the doctor. Is 
that better. You've been asking for this, you know, sir. Get the hell out of here, Westerbrook. Very good, sir. Oh, Fred, what a shame. What? It'll put you out of the big race. Will it? You see. The doctor said he wouldn't stop me. Look out, Ma. What's all this? Oh, Mrs. Bolton, I... Uh, Maud's, uh, just looking after me, Ma. Yes, so I see. I've, uh, I've got a bit of a cold. Does Maud have to help you to sneeze? Maud, leave this to me. Now, look here, Fred. It's no good your trying to kid me. I wasn't. Might have killed yourself. And it's goodbye to this dirt track for you. Oh, Ma, what about the big race? Race? What you want's rest. I'm going to get that embrocation. You're making your name. Why shouldn't I make mine? I haven't made mine yet. Premier's getting me all of a doodah. -ah. You'll be all right, old girl. They're giving us a private box. Swank. What do you mean, swank? Is it on with the Bolton? Oh, and Fred in bed and all. Pearl's head's so bad she can't come to. Better there without Pearl. Oh, it all seems such a mess up now. Well, come along, Marlene Gidrich. Funny. Oh, Pearl. You'll stay there, won't you, dear? And be in bed by the time we get back. All right, Mum. Well, there's a good girl. Well, sit down, my ducks. Sit down. Uh, now, Freddie, sure you're all right. Mrs. Wigglesworth will be here any minute now. Mrs. Wigglesworth coming? Yes, to keep you company. Oh. I know how you feel about missing that lunch. Look here, Mum, I... What is it? Oh, nothing. Good luck for the picture, Mum. Thank you, dear, thank you. Oh, I'll need it. Oh, there you are, Mrs. Bigglesworth. Oh, it's a regular hospital in there now. Burn in bed with an headache and Fred with his bad knee. You look after him, dear, won't you? I'll take care of him, Mrs. Bolton. Come on, Miss. Oh, all right. Oh, Fred, you look awful. Oh, Fred, you look awful. As to tough, Mr. Westerbrook. <laughs> Gaspers, please. We're out of them. All right, I'll run and get you some. You, you needn't run. Uh, no hurry. All uh, right. <laughs> Taxi! 
comes, I do feel awful. Well, you don't look it, old girl. Good lemme, I can make a meal off you. <laughs> Dear old Bert. <laughs> Dear old yourself. <laughs> Here, I know where to put you right. A drop of the old mother's comfort. Oh, mother. Christmas, Maria. Of course, Luke. <laughs> To see you come this way. Ah, good evening, Miss Bolton. We're all so glad to see you. Oh, everybody's most kind, I'm oh. sure. And great reception. Oh, not too bad. Uh, you know our manager, Mr. Williams. Oh, well, how do you do? How do you do? Oh, thank you, darling, so much. How sweet of you, dear. Hold on, please. Come along, Miss Bolton. We must be going in now. You're going to have a huge success. Oh, thank you very much. It's very nice of you, sure. Well, everything all right. As right as I can make it, she'll be a riot. What about that contract? She never signed the option. Oh, we'll see about that after the picture. Right. Come along, let's start the show. Sit down. <clears throat> Love a duck, I wish it was over. That's all right, old girl. You keep a stiff upper lip, like me. Who the devil wants to look like you? Did you ring, madam? No, I didn't ring. I was just going out. 
Lighter. Come and have a look, Bill. This is the last number.
the spot on her. behalf of my wife. Uh, be that as it may, nevertheless. <laughs> Go away, don't be rude. I should like to say... Sir, sir, where's madam? Didn't I tell you not to be rude? Yes, yes but sir, it's about Master Fred. He's gone to the dirt track with that knee. Well, he couldn't go without it, could he? We must find Madam. Now, on, it's been a oh, stern on, struggle that I, I should love. Well, I'll tell you more about it later. Give him my maiden speech. Yeah, I had Yeah, Have you seen Mrs. Bolton? Uh, she's just gone, sir. Where? Uh, the address I gave the driver was, let me see, 24 Mowbray Mansions. Taxi! Uh, taxi! Taxi! I saw his name on the door. Harold Ogar. What do you think of that? I put a name on her door. Hmm. And a few knockers. up tonight, Tilda. Found a mouse. What's all this mean? Only me. Oh, you wild creature! Oh, I say! I've come for my daughter. Is Mr. Hogarth acquainted with your daughter, madam? Yes, and he'll soon be acquainted with me. Mm. Oh, real passion is all right. What are you doing with my daughter? What's she doing with me? I've been trying to avoid her for weeks. I believe you, you blithering little idiot. What the devil do you think you're doing? Oh, Mum, 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 Ah, my pet! At last I found you! Oh, your premiere make a wow so big, and you not dare to see your triumph. Rats! I've had business to attend to. Come on, let me get out of here. But Mrs. Bolton, the chief has sent me to bring you back to sign the biggest contract that contract ever... Contract pictures that all have to wait. Come on, Pearl. Oh, you'll never look me in the face again. Come on, the lot of you. Now for Fred. Rule Britannia! 
Well, we've got to get her somehow. Come on. Okay, let's go. You sure you can ride with that knee, friend? Anyway, it's not going to keep me out of this race any more than Ma. Try her again, Tug. Fred's not going to ride in that race. You can take my word for it. No. And I haven't finished with you yet, either. Film star. That sex appeal, he can keep it. All right. Let him have it. That car in front, you keep with him, yes? Good. Is the matter all right, Tug? OK, fine. Thanks, yeah. You ought to give them a second. How's the name, Jim? Not the dusty gust. Oh, well, best to look for second place. We'll see about that. Thanks, John. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Event number three, sketchy. The riders are Gus Coon, Arthur Warwick, Colin Watson, Tom Farnham, and Fred Bolton. The riders are now lined up for the start. This should be a great race with nothing in it at the finish. Well, Condon's number one. Watson two, Warwick three. You're inside again. You're always inside. Inside again. Colin, how are you tonight? OK, Tom. Oh, what a shame. Fred's been drawn on the outside. Already, boys? Get ready. Let me get through. Let me get through. Who's this? Yeah, just a minute. You don't push like that. Right away. Yeah, just a minute. Fred! Fred! We are now starting off on the preliminary attack.
Oh, no. Mummy, he's crashed. Fred, you led him into this. Well, he's one, hasn't he? Yes, but look what you've done. You've killed him. Not quite. Order of the Bolton. <laughs> what the devil's he doing? <laughs> Just my luck. <coughs> oh, Bert, have you broken your neck? I'm all right. <coughs> well, serve you right then. Hey? Oh, Bert, the finest act I ever see. You make one big riot. Right? I've had all the riot I want. Come on, get out of here. <coughs> I can have a nice long rest. Rest? What have you and the old Binky family been having for the last three months? Well, I've been working the gizzard out of myself. If you want rest, you get back to your blooming bottles. Oh, Bess. And enough of this old Bess business. I'm the worm that turned. And when I turn, I turn. Well, I don't know what you're doing. You're going to work, my boy. Work as you've never worked before in your blooming life. Work? I'd sooner go back to Billingsgate. <laughs> work? This ain't work, it's slavery. Nose to the grass till the old blinking day. Oh, stop glassing for God's sake. Well, I mean to say it's... Just so... like old times, isn't it, hey? <laughs> that edge off. Well, I must say you ain't lost the neck, old girl. Yeah, what's the matter with you? Another spasm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, John, oh, John. Well, doodle Off we go. <coughs> Let's have that camera over here, <coughs> Now then. Where's their eyebrows? Hey, Archie. Oh. How's it? OK, Chief. What do you mean, OK? We don't want none of that vulgar studio slang. Wilson! Wilson, where is my script? Here, sir, and your hat, sir. You bring my act to the studio for what? Vamos, cram, outfit. Oh, fair. Oh, Baldy. Oh. OK. Oh, wonderful. But come, we go. For what we need? Not enough for the grass beer. Uh. Ah, my pet. Now we have the big number. You see. We have built your own home for the picture, and you must be yourself. Myself? The very spirit of this so great country, Britannia! Hello. Ah, <laughs> you know, you know. I Come, we go! Camera! Over the course, the mo girl. Yep. Why should we care what tomorrow? 